Hey guys, it's Anne once again, and today I'm gonna give you a small guided tour to my latest model, the Ultra Super Duper Ultra Hydra Heavy Tank. It's a model based on another model that I saw online many years ago, and it's a very impressive design. It has a total of 9 turrets, and uh, it weighs around 4.5 kilos, and it has something like 3,000 parts or more than that. Uh, many of them made with dark tan, dark uh, red and dark green parts which, which made this model quite expensive to build. This model was exhibited for the first time at the Pretz Decora Fun Weekend event which was held just barely a week ago at Pretz Decora. There I met the Beyond the Brick team, um, Joshua and John Helen. I, I gave them a small interview about this model. And I met Tommy from the Brick Nerd. And this model was a great success. Everyone really, really enjoyed watching it. And the event was a great success with exhibitors from all around the world. And now it's time to see the vehicle in greater detail. Um, it has a total of 9 turrets. The two on the front are Tiger 1 turrets. This one are the Panzer 4 turrets. It has two Flak 37mm cannons over here. On the rear We have a E75 turret armed with a 105mm anti-tank gun. As you can see it has range finders from a uh, German destroyer and if you look here we have the main turret this is from the Sturm Emil uh, tank destroyer, but it's a tank in this case. It has a 170mm uh, gun, a very large anti-tank gun, and a Panzer II turret above it with red skull here. It also has a naval defer launcher on the rear. On the sides, the vehicle also has two 150mm uh, guns mounted on these sponsons. They come from the German battleships from the First World War. They were used as secondary guns. And on the sides, it also has two 20mm cannons. On the front, I almost forgot to show, there is a Hetzer 75mm uh, cannon mounted on the front. Another very interesting feature of this model is that by turning a gear here on the rear, we turn the rear turret and if we turn the other one, it turns the main gun turret. The vehicle also has some interiors, but right now the only thing that I'm going to show, some of them are still being completed, uh, is the frontal hatch for the driver, who enjoys a wonderful view ahead of him to see the targets that it needs to crush. And to finish this presentation of my latest model, I've added a small, very interesting feature to the vehicle. It weights about four and a half kilos, but it moves. It has two small XL motors and it moves really well. And it's quite fast. It can go over some slopes without any problems. And it's a very interesting feature that I decided to add. And 
so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to visit my Flickr page and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.